you're looking at uh, TDM1, uh, this is a conjugate, it's a special way of uh, fighting breast cancer cells. Um, what were you doing in this study that you've been looking at, that you're quoting here? What was a big issue that you were trying to investigate in patients who've been heavily pre-treated with all sorts of things already? TDM1 is an antibody drug conjugate composed of trastuzumab stably linked to DM1, which is a cytotoxic microtubule inhibitor. TDM1 is already approved based on the EMILIA study, which showed increased progression-free survival and overall survival in second line, HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. The goal of the RISA study is to investigate TDM1 in a more advanced population. So in Teresa, patients were randomized, 2 to 1, to TDM1, or a treatment of physician's choice. And after a follow-up of 30 months, median overall survival increased by 6.9 months. Right, now let me ask you a little bit about mm -hmm. physician's choice, because what would that have been? The treatment of physician's choice uh, consisted in 80% of cases of trastuzumab containing combinations, mostly combinations of chemotherapy with trastuzumab, but also trastuzumab plus hormone therapy or um, lapatinib. So these uh, patients had already had plenty of anti-HER2 therapy because they're HER2 positive, yeah. and they would nevertheless, that's more or less all they could get would be something like trastuzumab afterwards. Yeah, it's a different story. The use of trastuzumab beyond progression. There are several older studies and data that suggest that if you continue to block the HER2, that at least you slow down the, the progression. Right. Now, you gave me some figures there. Could you give me the full data on what you got in terms of improvements in progression-free survival and overall survival? In Teresa's study, progression-free survival increased from three to six months uh, with TDM1, and overall survival increased from 15.8 to 22.7 months. That which, is a big increase. Yes, it's a 6.9 months increase in overall survival. Now, I, I, I can ask, was there a downside? But I think almost whatever you say will mm -hmm. be balanced by the upside. But what, 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 what about toxicity? Toxicity in the Teresa study was quite similar to what was reported previously. TDM1 has a, sa a favorable safety profile. Um, we see slightly more thrombocytopenia, but we see less neutropenia, less febrile neutropenia, less diarrhea, less nausea, less vomiting. Uh, so in general, uh, TDM1 is a quite well-tolerated drug. And uh, this trial is still continuing, patients are still on trial. What, what's your longest lived patient so far? Well, at the, the cutoff date in February 2015, still about a quarter of patients were in the study. Um, but it's what we see with HER2 positive disease. Some patients can live for years with anti-HER2 therapy. And what do you make of these findings clinically? The Teresa study mainly confirms the use of TDM1 in metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer in patients who were treated already with trastuzumab and ataxane. So we have in this setting now two very positive trials, the EMILIA study in second line and the Teresa study in later lines that show progression-free survival benefit, but also overall survival benefit with generally less toxicity. This is unusual because in oncology, we often see some increase in progression-free survival at the cost of increased toxicity, but this is not the case here. What are your recommendations to doctors treating patients who are heavily pre-treated also with previous anti-HER2 therapy now then? I can only confirm the NCCN guidelines that state that TDM1 is the preferred regimen in her two positive metastatic breast cancer that was treated with taxane and trastuzumab. Do you think there's a case for now for using TDM1 earlier in the disease? Well, this study has been performed. It's the Marianne study, uh, and it was presented. But in that study, TDM1 was not superior to a taxane plus trastuzumab or to TDM1 plus pertuzumab. It was a three-arm study. 
So at this moment, uh, we should not use TDM1 in first line. Th there is a well-established first line therapy for her 2 positive metastatic breast cancer being taxane, trastuzumab and pertuzumab. This is the first line at present, but if patients fail on that therapy, TDM1 is the preferred regimen.